Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to rip music CDs in Windows uh, using a free app called Easy CD Audio Converter Free. So normally you could do this with uh, Windows Media Player and we have a video on that. But as of right now, the new Windows Media Player that's coming out in Windows 11 doesn't have a rip option. So it doesn't look like you're going to be able to rip CDs anymore. Maybe they think, you know, music CDs are going away for good. But if you still have uh, music CDs and you're running Windows 11 and you want to rip them, you could use this. All you need to do is go to the Microsoft Store, search for Easy CD Audio Converter Free, download it, and then you could just open it up. Once you install it, you'll also be able to find it under your All Apps here. Right there. And then you'll have your uh, interface here with audio converter, disk burner, erase disk, burn disk image. So it does all kinds of other stuff, but we're just going to be focusing on creating a, uh, or actually ripping a audio CD into MP3s. You could do other formats as well. So once you put your CD in the drive, you'll go to audio CD ripper, and it should pull it up here, and then I'll try and pull up any artist information, the year and stuff, and you could actually add this stuff if you want to do that. And there's also an option for metadata. So if you wanted to uh, retrieve, you know, information about the CD, if it doesn't find it right away, such as the album cover and track names and all that other good stuff, it could go out and try and find that. And then over here on the right, you have your options for what type of uh, audio you want to convert it to. So we have MP3 and all these other WAV files and Windows Media, audio and so on. We're going to do MP3. And then you could choose your options here for VBR, ABR, CBR. Then if you want to do your quality, so 185 is the default. You can go up to 280 right there. And if you click on Advanced, you can check the quality here. If you want to go to Highest, Sample Rate, a lot of the stuff you're not going to care about, probably just the quality, you know, how good you want it to be. Just keep in mind that the higher quality MP3, the larger the MP3 file. So if you don't care, then go for the highest. And then where you want it to output it to, the default is your music folder under your username. And then if you want to change the format of the file, so by default you have the artist, and then you have the album, and then the title. You could change it to, you know, just track number, just number and title and so on. We're just going to leave it at the default here. And then when you're ready to go, you just click on Rip CD. And then we'll start the process and it'll show you for each one and show you the file name where it's going. And then we'll just kind of pause this or fast forward this and check it out when it's done ripping. Okay, so the CD rip process is complete. We did 11 tracks in about three and a half minutes, no errors. So it even has a little log there of what it did, which we don't care about. So we'll go ahead and close this. And we'll go to our music folder. So here's the album it did. It made a folder with the uh, band name and album name. And then inside, it did the uh, album or track number with song title. And even has some information for each one. So if we right click on it, go to properties. Go to details. So you can tell it has some information in here. So the year, the album, the band, the song number, and you can actually edit this stuff too. We also have a video on how to edit, edit your MP3 metadata, but that's another story there. So it's a pretty cool program. Like I said, it's free and it's easy to use and it does a good job. And uh, if you get to the point where you can't use Windows Media Player or if you want to try this instead, I'd say go for it because it looks like it does the job. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.